Luz y progreso y gracias a la misericordia. This is our sister Brujo Luis. And I'm doing a video today because I was just cleaning out my cell phone of old videos that I'd already posted on YouTube and I still had them on my phone. When I came upon this old uh, video that I wanted to post on my YouTube way back in October for Halloween. And I don't know why I never did, but it's on my Grimorio, my Book of Shadows, Mi, Lubra, Mi Libro de Sombras. A lot of people are probably asking, what is a, a Latino, Brujo, a Spiritista, Sancista doing with a Grimorio, a Book of Shadows? Well, I started this Grimoire around when I was around 20 years old and I finished it when I was 26, so I finished it around 20 years ago. I'm 46 years old now. But at that time of my life, and I still am in part, but at that time I was into old Grim Wars, and I still am, but I was into the occult, occult sciences and arcane wisdom. And, you know, and I remember I was always intrigued by those old wizards and, and maguses and sorcerers who had those ancient tomes and I've always, I always wanted one. So I started that and I started documenting little things that I did at that time. Um, now I open it and I really don't use the book as much, you know, I don't as much. Now I use it though as a reference book. I remember one client came to me with a seal an old seal and there was this writing and luckily I could I, I opened up that Grimorio and I could interpret what that writing was and it was a curse actually and the seal was to harm the person so I remembered that I can help that person cleanse and purify it so purify the person so I use uh, that Grimorio now as a reference as a, as a reference guide more than something that I would uh, read from beginning to end um, I believe in the importance of documenting your life. I could look back now, now that I'm 46, and look at this old book that's been with me 20-something years and say, wow, wow, how much I've grown, how much I've changed as a person. And I still document my life now. I still keep journals, and I have old journals of, of my life from when I was very young until now. And sometimes I look back, I'm like, wow, you know, that's that's amazing that I went through that and I have dates and all that. And who knows, maybe someday I'll publish uh, the memoirs of a brujo. Who knows about that? But anyways, but yes, even today I still keep journals. I have a dream journal that sometimes I feel like I have a premonition or a prophetic dream and I like to write down my dreams if they seem like they're very important and then during the day I look back and read and then I try to see if I get the message and I also when I have clients uh, I give them la clave uh, automatic writing not all the time but I do sometimes especially in misas and sesiones and you know I just believe that we should all document our lives whether it be in a notebook an expensive tome, uh, a leather-bound book. I don't care what it is. I believe that we should because when we get older, we get to see how much we've changed, how much we've grown as an individual. So, you know, I still do it. I think it's important that we do. You're going to see this old book. It was expensive at the time. It cost me a lot. You know, I, I remember working very hard to have this book. But I can see it now and see how much I've grown and how much I've changed. And it's, it's an heirloom that I can pass down to my family, to my children. Maybe they can pass it down to their grandchildren. Hopefully, you'll stay in the family, God willing. But anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please hit like. Please subscribe. I should have posted it in Halloween, October. I don't know why I did. I'm going to do it in New Year's Eve. Hope you like this video. And if you do, please leave a comment and how you journal. Also, leave comments how you journal, what you write about and how important it is to journal and write. You know, I think all brujos, all spiritual people should journal their lives, their rituals, their ceremonies, their initiations, uh, their life in general. It's really important because these are, are windows to our past. They are records of our history. And we get to look back at these these beautiful records you know so i hope you like this video and if you do please leave please like please leave a comment down below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and here's the video of that that book that i should have published way back in october 
Happy Halloween. This is Ancista Brujo Luis. I thought since we were in the Halloween season, you know, the season of the witch, October, I thought it would be kind of fun to show a book, well, my old book of shadows, Mi Libro de Sombras, my old grimoire. This is the book that I, I, I started working a long time ago, and I don't use it as much anymore. Uh, sometimes I do for, for, you know, as a reference guide. Uh, you can see it's a really thick book. There's more pages to it. Some pages don't are not the same. Uh, it has some clasps. You can see in those things they they clasp on here. But just the book is so full that it, when I clasp it, it really is hard to open. So since I'm recording with one hand, uh, I decided just to leave the clasps off. You can see they clasp on like that. But anyways, let me just get to the book and show you what it's all about this is I'll just show you different pages consecration of uh, salt consecration of the book um, just various pages seances Let's see. you know I always was fascinated by wizard tomes and old grimoires and I always wanted my own I guess so I started this a long time ago actually and some spirit guides you can see well some things are still the same here's Santa Marta the Dominadora a lot of things are many things are still the same uh, you can see I've grown these were just my beginning the stages of understanding various things. Sorry I'm going through the pages. I want you to see as much as you can of the book. This is the Wheel of the Year. It's pagan, but I do follow some of those holidays. Not that I'm Wiccan, but I do follow a lot of the pagan traditions and holidays, including the Christian holidays. These are sun hours, sun and how to use them in magical hours. Uh, night hours, how to use them, how to balance both energies, the moon phases, the various moons, zodiac signs, uh, their meaning, hours of the zodiac, their energy, what power is good for that, day of the week, who is ruled, what uh, planet rules them, what um, zodiac rules them, excuse me, uh, various zodiacs and some pretty simple uh, meanings with them, the four elements. The chakras. Let's see what else I have in here. The aura. Uh, various colors of the aura. I'm going to try to Open the book like that. Spiritual cleansing. I have to keep fumigating with incense. I have to keep uh, licking my finger to change the pages. I started this book a long time ago, and you can see how I've changed. Tabaco prayers. How I've changed, and what I've changed, and what I've added. But today, I use it more as a reference guide. Uh, especially for clients who come to me with, you know, you, you wouldn't believe many brujos use uh, ancient symbols and and various writings on their clients so the client doesn't understand what it is. And so I come to this book and I try to find the symbol, the meaning. I, uh, and if there's various letters that are, this is the Obi, Santeria style, if there's various letters, um, I have a few letters here, so that, this is candle magic, right here. You know, sometimes uh, magic are written in different languages. You can see these are from old books, and I just thought they were really interesting, so I added them to this. These I did not draw, okay? You know, some people come to me with, you know, either candles or stuff inscribed with these weird symbols and all that. And there are symbols in this book. Hopefully I'll get to those pages. 
soon because I'm going through all the boring pages. You can see where I change different pages. See how this one's a little bit uh, browner and this is lighter or vice versa. You know, I've changed the book. I've added book. I mean, I've added to the book. I rearranged to the book. I mean, these are various how brujos or black magicians use uh, doll magic, puppets, or uh, voodoo dolls. You know, how they would use them in their trabajos. These are recuerdos, mojo bags. Sorry, it's boring compared to a lot of other people's books of uh, shadows or grimoires or whatever. You can see the pages change there as well. And then over here it changes again. La Bomba Santera. It's a spiritual job. Some seals. Let's see. Some seals. I'm trying to go a little quicker because I don't want to bore you with a 20 minute video going through boring pages of nothing but letters and words. And I'm just trying to get to all the cool pages. <laughs> Which, of course, I'm not going to find this book at this moment. So I'm just going to go through it as quick as possible. So this video doesn't last more than 15 minutes. Cause Here's some um, written spells. Código del Brujo. Old picture of an old altar I used to have. Mal de ojo. See, these are the scripts, angelic script and other and angelic writings. These are seals used in ceremonial magic. Not that I use them, but you wouldn't believe how many clients, brujerios, use these symbols to harm people. And so I can decipher them if they come to me. And I, yet, believe it or not, I, I, it, it has come in handy, helpful. These are voodoo veves, voodoo symbols, uh, hoodoo symbols, Haitian, brujeria symbols, uh, umbanda, pontos, from the tradition of umbanda in Brazil, more voodoo symbols right here. We're going to go to some boring, just trabajos. Come on, where's all the cool pages? Okay. Magic mirror spells. Hmm. So I'm sorry I'm going through this. I'm trying to go as fast as possible so you get to see at least most of the group of this is power squares and how to use them so at least you get to see as much of the book as possible these are various altars altares la novena how to do algo, or something outside un altar in the house for your spirits the structure of it of a tablea espiritual these are the seven deadly sins Uh, succubus, I think that's what it's called. Those spirits, succubus and incubus. Then we get deeper into the book, which is, I swear to God, it's like 600 pages. We get into the potions and all that, you know, recipes, various recipes for powders and incenses and various dirts and how to use those dirts. These are all recipes. Inks, um, spiritual oils, tinctures, some recipes for tinctures, invocations, 
herbs in Spanish and English and what these herbs are used for. So you can see there's a whole bunch of pages on that. Some Orisha from Santeria. And I'm going to try to skim through that part. So like, why well, should I put him in the beginning? You can still change that. Mm -hmm. El Barón del Cementerio. More filmas. La Santa Muerte. I don't really honor La Santa Muerte. I don't even know why I added these. Los Indios. The Indian Guides. More Indios. Gitanas. So I think people are going to probably start getting bored. But you can see it's got a whole bunch of more pages that I'll just skim through real quickly. And I did get to finish the, the Grimorio. I did get to finish the book. At least this one. I did get to the, to the final ending of it. Here's an index of all the pages. You can see it's different colors. And then this is different colors from that. Okay, I did get to finish this one, and then I I bought these, I think it's, I'm not sure if I bought these online or in Salem, I don't remember. I never added them, they're not physically added to the Grimoire, you can see they're on the side. This is the back cover, sadly to say it ripped off, but you see some of them are really gorgeous, and maybe I'll do another. I'm always working on books and, and, and my own personal journals, and I think we got power seals here. And they're various colors. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please leave a message down below. I'm showing you the same ones over and over again. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please leave a message down below about your book, about your your spell books, or whatever you have. Anyways, happy Halloween. This is Sancita Brujo Luis. Happy holidays.